Mimi I'm the deputy party leader kwa baba. Sasa mkija hivyo sisi kule Western tuliamua mapema. Baba ndio mtu wetu. Ni vizuri nyinyi sasa mmekuja. Asanteni. Eh makofi ya tosh kwa governor. Asante sana kwa sababu ya muda tukubariwe tuongee haraka alafu baba msalimie, si ndio? Uh, baba karibu sana Meru. Ah uh, Meru coming you officially as the governor of Meru. So karibu sana Meru. Uh, baba is not new to me. Of all the politicians, the one I know most ni baba. Three you are even before you got into politics. I think if you read the newspapers, the nation 1984 sometimes July utatuona tukiwa front page ya nation wakati huo baba akishikwa eh akipelekwa ndipesho wakati ule na mimi nikiwa wakili wake wakati huo kwa hiyo tumetoka mbali we become family friends 1992 i voted for his father i campaigned for him here the red jaramogi oginga odinga and I was the only Ford Kenya member of parliament elected in Eastern Province. Wakati ule. Ubi ni family friends. Tunajuana sana hata kwa familia yake. Na we struggle together. We've been street fighters together here yeah, akiwa our leader. I remember one time he led us kutafuta kura ya opposition ya Ford in Mandera then we were chased out of all the hotels and for four days we slept outside under a tree with him we can tell so many other stories but now my happiness is that he's coming in a new capacity and i want to introduce you to the fifth president of the Republic of Kenya His Excellency Laira Amoro Senator 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 I will just introduce you just Eh kai ni chini I've not trained the memorandum to him We have done our analysis Mimi sifanyi siasa emotions Mimi nafanya siasa ya hesabu Tumefanya utafiti We have listened even to your own opponents I've sat with them to assess maoni yao to assess them and from even other confidential reports we have no doubt that the fifth president of the Republic of Kenya is no other than Raira Amoro Ondinga Our people don't want to go into opposition our people want to be in government so it is for that reason that we have decided to join as a mere movement so that we can be in government with you so we met today to kapiga kura it was unanimous that we all enter as a mere movement number 2 We decided first we are going to enter into Azimio a movement. Then number two, we said we are going to do everything possible. We are going to look for every vote to ensure that Raira Amoro Ondinga wins the majority of the votes in our region. Tunataka kikapu yake wakati ikihesabiwa kura zetu zionekane huko ikiwa mingi. Sidio? 
you cannot claim you cannot claim a part of the government if you have not contributed to that government. So we shall do our best to make sure that our contribution is loud and it is hand and it is clear. Number three, we, we are the Devolution Empowerment Party. Our philosophy is one of empowering the devolved units of government in this country. We want more resources transferred from the center to the grassroots. We have looked at all the candidates and the only candidate who has been consistent that this resources should be increased. And the one who was, who was the champion when devolution was being created in no other than Daira Amoro Ondinga. You know, even now, without us asking, he said that the shareable revenue will be increased from 15% to 35%. So I'm no doubt that here in the state house, we are going to automatically get that the 5%, which means 6 billion more in Meru County and more in our surrounding counties. So we are voting for money. We are voting for our friend to increase the money supply in our county so that we can do more things for our people. Number three, number four, you have heard our people say, Tumefuniko na Murima. Our region feels economically neglected, economically discriminated, and although we are very productive, region with the coffee, bananas, tea, milk, mira, all these have challenges. And I have had private and public discussions with Laira Amoro Dinka, and I said he understands all this. Nae atainua uchumi wa iliaetui, especially in agriculture. We have many stored projects. Here in Meru County, we have 102 stored projects. Raira Amoro Dinga has that list because it was provided even to government agencies. And they said, here, King, here, you make sure that all those projects are completed and new ones are started. <laughs> Finally, kwa sababu tachange yo serikali. Yo serikali kuundwa. Tungetaka kuona vijana na washana wetu wakiwa kwa ngazi ya juu kwa hiyo serikali. <laughs> Kanate u? Yeah. Tulisama tungetaka kuona muembu akiwa kwa cheo ya juu ya hiyo serikali. Yeah. Tungetaka kuona mudaraka, mchuka, muembe akiwa kwa hiyo serikali. Na sisi wa meru hata sisi tuweko kwa serikali na watu wa isiolo. Uraiki. Proportionately, at the same time, we are trying to engage with Kenya, but in order to wash our quiet territory, which is fair to us, see you. Finally, I know to na vijana na wengi apa atambas queens, ewa koiri ahi, see you. Kama vijana na bas queens wako shout to ski mukoko, asante. If there's a president. Who is going to lift the youth of this country? It is no other than Naira Amoro Odinga. If there's a person who is going to lift the welfare of the women in this country, it is Naira Amoro Odinga. Not our love, Makarino Munavuana. Quite one above one was a Kusaurika, Makarina Kiwangoza. Naira Amoro Odinga at Ainua Kiramutu in an inclusive way, including the PWDs. So, all the marginalized groups, you are safe with Raira Amoro or Dinga. Step on Jan Paka Usiku, Ayo Mengine, there's a mega rally which we are planning the day after tomorrow, Mairitatu. Up on Dio Tunataka wa Meru, Wato wa Jue, Bas pate imeingia kwa azimio. So your excellence, that is our day. 
We will mobilize all the merus to be at Meritatu, and you are most welcome to be the chief guests on that day, the day after tomorrow. Stay from Jaza I know to Tembea Pamoja, and uh, the way I know you, Uchoki, even the days we used to fight Tiangas. Since we got to Natoroka, we will be in the police. So, uh, allow me to do a small ceremony, then allow, allow you to speak. We want the, the, the fifth president of Kenya, Aiyye Kwambas. <laughs> kabla sia sema chochote ina furaha kukaribishwa hapa kwa basi na nimekuwa mwanachama ya Crosby ya basi sasa mnikubalia mimi niweke kiongozi wenu kwa azimio sana huyu ni mtoto yangu huyu bila amesema mimi ni watu yake kwa siasa endelea sasa nianze kwa kutoa shukrani kwa rafiki yangu gavana mraito murungi kwa kutualika hapa siku ya leo tukutana na wanachama wa bus eh tulikuwa huko Samburu leo lakini natuambia sisi ikifika jioni mkuje Meru tuko na delegate eh, conference yetu mkutane na kongamano yetu ni sababu tumefika ndio wache nieleze nyinyi hadithi kidogo Nileza hadithi. Hadithi hadithi. Hadithi hadithi. Kulikuwa watu wawili. Moja alikuwa anaitwa Nyaga. Alikuwa ni kasisi. Mwingine alikuwa anaitwa Mugambi. Alikuwa ni driver wa basi. Eh? Sasa hao watu wawili walikufa walifariki. Wakaenda mbinguni. Huyu Mugambi alikuwa driver, alipata ajali kwa barabara na basi yake. Wakaanguka na watu wote wabiria watu wakakufa na yeye. So kafika kule wakapata kama St Peter ndio iko kwa kwa, kwa uh, kazi siku hiyo ndio nawakaribisha sasa huyu uh, mugambi anaingia uh, 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 huyu huyu unyaga kwanza anaingia mimi jina ni nyaga mimi nilikuwa mchungaji mimi ndio nilikuwa naombea watu yako naleta watu kwa 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 Mungu na nimefariki sasa karibu sana amepewa fimbo ya miti na nguo ile ya ya ya, ya pamba ya cotton 
akapewa kiti ya ya ni ya bao ka pale subiri sasa huyu mugambi inakuja mimi ni mugambi nilikuwa driver ya bus nilikuwa na safarisha passenger kutoka kutoka Meru na kupeleka huko pande ya Nairobi but mimi nikapata ajali nikakufa na watu wangu yote sasa mimi nimekuja karibishwa yeye anapewa ile fimbo ya dhahabu ile nguo zile ya velvet sasa anapewa sofa ka hapo sasa yule nyaga anaanza kwa kuona wivu atika mimi nimepewa nguo ya pamba sasa mimi nimepewa nini ile fimbo ya ya ya, ya miti tu na kiti ya miti akaenda kwa kwa pita kambia unajua afikiri iko iko makosa hapa there's a mistake in identity mimi ndio nilikuwa mchungaji mimi nilikuwa mimi na kuambia watu yako huko huko ulimwengu na kwa na pleka watu kwa Mungu huyu alikuwa mwendeshaji wa driver wa bus alikuwa na bus bus ya kunya changa ndio sababu mpata ajali ya maua watu wengi sana akambia pana akona there's no mistake in identity wewe sahili ambayo ulikuwa na ubidi katika kanisa wale wale wani wafasi wako wote wengi wao walikuwa wanasinzia wengine walikuwa wanalala lakini huyu sahili alikuwa anaendesha basi yake kile mtu alikuwa naomba mungu yake na mwaleta tena amewaleta yote hapa mbinguni kama yeye anaheshimiwa zaidi sasa lakini mimi najua mimi ya story i know that creator is not that that driver but atangusha atangusha na na mabira yake yote okay pole san i am happy to be here kila hicho bila msema na mimi ni marafiki tulikuwa naye zamani sana bila mwambia nyinyi akili ambayo akwambia nyinyi kwamba yeye alikuwa ni wakili yangu amekuja huko huko mpaka kule chimulatewa kuletea mimi katika tennis review tribunal yeye pamoja na nani Gibson kama Korea sasa wakati mwingine sisi mimi na Matiba na Robia tulikuwa pamoja kusema tunaenda kasa ya nini um, kamkunji saba saba sasa mambo ikawa moto zaidi siku hiyo najua ilikuwa na simba ambayo yuko na mena na makucha kusema ngwe ndani ngwe sasa tulikuwa tunatafutwa sasa. Alafu sasa nikaambiwa ya kwamba mimi siwezi kwenda kwa ofisi ya kiraitu na Kamau manake tumezoeliwa hata matiba. Nikasema kiraitu na, na uh, Gibson ni mawakili wangu. Kwa hivyo mkinizuia kwenda kwao siwezi kufanya biashara kwenye bibi basi wewe unaweza kwenda kwao lakini usiende kwa matiba au kwa rubia sasa ikawa sisi tunasema tunaenda kamkunji wapende wasipende sasa kama wakati inakuwa karibia kila hicho alikuwa ameenda mkutano huko Addis Ababa Ethiopia tumebaki hapo na Gibson na Mwite matiba na rubia Sasa kimi silikuwa ni saba saba yani tarehe saba mwezi wa saba Kufika tarehe mbili maenda alfajiri kwa matiba na rubia amewachota Unanitafuta mimi sasa Mimi vile vile nikachotwa 
na hata mwiti akachotwa hata kama ukuria ha kama ukuria alikimbia kwa balozi ya Amerika kajificha <laughs> huko sasa nani e, e, manyara kitovu alichotwa kila hitu alikuwa huko Ethiopia alipopata habari ya kwamba watu wanachotwa hapa <laughs> akajikua ndege akaenda Amerika <laughs> Agururi hapa ameka Amerika mimi tukapelekwa na Matiba na Rubia hata Hamin walikuwa wamewekwa lakini baadaye mawakili wakawaachiliwa Manyara kafunguliwa Matiba kawaachiliwa hata Mwite alijificha alafu baadaye sasa mimi na Rubia na Matiba ndio tukao huko ndani Rubia akapata ugonjwa mbaya akapasiliwa akaliwaachiliwa Matiba akapata stroke ambaye ilimharibu yeye kabisa. Mimi nikapiga mwaka moja baada ya mimi nikafunguliwa katoka. Kwa hivyo hiyo ni uhusiano wangu mimi na kila hitu. Mambo sasa ilipowaka baadaye na walipolazimisha sasa kufungua so sisi tuka so, uh, anzisha Ford Ford alafu sasa kile hicho karudi akongana na sisi na Ford Ford ilipogawanyika Ford Ford asili na Ford Kenya yeye eh, akaingia kwa Ford Kenya hii ni tulikuwa naye hapa Meru hapa hii eh, pamoja na bwana Gituma eh na uh, uh, nani Mitobu Manyara hapa wakati huo kila hitu Mrungi ndiye akawa mtu mmoja peke yake ambaye alichaguliwa meru hii mzima kwa tiketi ya chama cha Ford Kenya kwa hivyo tumetoka mbali sana na kila hitu Mrungi ni sababu mimi niko na furaha sana kurudi tena hapa kama mgeni wake kwa na nyinyi mwezini ya pasi sasa juzi mimi nimesema tunataka kubadilisha Kenya maana kwa mimi ni kwetu wakati walikuwa napigania uhuru they were saying that we want mzungu kutoka mafrika ashike hatamu tupigane na adui wetu watatu makubwa three big enemies ugonjwa ujinga na umaskini but 58 years since the independence those enemies are still there they are even stronger ni sababu nimesema mpaka tubadilishe mtindo tukifuata njia ambayo tumefuata mpaka leo hata miaka 50 zijazo tutakuwa bado tuko hapa inchi ambayo ilikuwa ni rika yetu kimaendeleo South Korea and Kenya were at the same level of development in 1963. South Korea in terms of GDP was equal to Kenya. In terms of per capita income the same. In terms of literacy the same. In terms of population the same. In terms of level of industrialization the same. In terms of agricultural production the same South Korea and Kenya rika ya Kenya kabisa Mika msini na nani baadaye uchumi wa South Korea ni mara 45 kubwa kushinda ya Kenya 45 times bigger than the Kenya's economy South Korea is now a developed country It's not a developing economy not even middle income South Korea now provide aid to Kenya nipokuwa waziri wa barabara ninaenda South Korea kuomba msaada ukanipati msaada dola milioni hamsini ya kununua vifaa ya kujenga barabara shovels graders excavators tipas na kadhalika nikapeleka katika ma district tulileta hapa 
nilikuwa na permanent secretary yangu ambaye alikuwa anatoka hapa bwana Russell Mongera hiyo graders hiyo tapers hiyo excavators sote zilikuwa manufactured in South Korea Hyundai car manufactured in South Korea Samsung South Korea LG South Korea sisi hapa hata kutengeneza sindano peke yake tukubali na shida. Hmm? Unaelewa? Kwa hiyo mpaka tujue hii mvua ilianza kutonyesha wapi? Where did the rain begin to beat us? So rika yetu wametuaja mbali namna hiyo. Hmm? In 1952 Ethiopia ilipeleka jeshi South Korea wakati walikuwa na vita na North Korea. Walipeleka 2600 troops to help South Korea. Meaning that at that time uh, Ethiopia was more developed than South Korea in 1952. Sasa ukienda uh, Ethiopia engineers kutoka South Korea ndio wanatengeneza mabarabara, wanatengeneza maji wanafanya mambo mengi zaidi kutoka huko wana sasa wanapatia Ethiopia msaada South Korea is now over 60 times stronger than Ethiopia kwa hivyo mpaka sisi tubadilishe si watu wa Kenya ndio hawezi the Kenyans have not been enabled to be able to develop their potential because of the system that has been really running our economy mediocrity in our country what is actually responsible for our backwardness kwa hiyo mpaka tubadilishe haya lakini tufanye hii kwanza the kenya must become a nation not a conglomeration of tribes but become one people that's the one we will be able to develop first na hiyo wanzilishi wa taifa letu walitaka namna hiyo the founding of our nations Unapata hii kwa mambo wetu wa taifa. Nasema Mungu bariki nchi yetu ya Kenya. Haki hiyo ngao na mlinzi. Tukae na undugu, amani na uhuru, raha tupate na ustawi. Nasema nini? Mungu bariki nchi yetu. Yaani nchi ambayo inamcha Mungu. A God fearing nation. Justice be our shield and defender. Justice cannot be a shield and defender in a democracy. It must be a democratic system. May we do the unity, peace and liberty. Unity meaning people are united. There is no discrimination on the basis of race, ethnicity, gender, uh, religion or age. Every Kenyan is a Kenyan. There is no meru Mwembu, mdaraka, mchuka, mbarana, kikuyu, turkana, mjikenda. <laughs> Sawa. It's all we are all Kenyans. We are all one people. And that is what they wanted. To to we pamoja kama wa Kenya. Alafu mwisho anasema plenty be found within our borders. Plenty means what? A prosperous nation. A developed nation where there's no freedom from want. People have equal opportunities. Children go to school even if the parents have no money. There's work for everybody. Those who are sick get proper medical attention that is you know and nobody sleeps hungry everybody has something to eat that's a prosperous nation and in the bible the country with plenty is called it's called you know canaan mean as we mean you kill a mara and play a word to canaan the canaan i'll talk about when i tell people to enter canaan see the canaan in the middle is uko 
hiyo Canaan ambayo waanzilishi wa Bible letu walisema plenty be found within our borders. Tutabadilisha Kenya hii iwe Canaan. Ni sababu tumesema kupande ya ujinga kila mtoto ambaye alizaliwa hapa hata kama wazazi hawana hawana pesa watapata fursa sawa kwa elimu kuanzia nursery, primary, secondary, tertiary mpaka university. Yakimaliza elimu wapate kazi wa maana ya kupata mshahara mzuri so that they can be able to transform themselves socially uh, and economically na wazazi wao sio kazi ya kusukuma wilbaro <laughs> au mnataka wilbaro hapana unakataa wilbaro to say that secondly to say at the other one the, those who want to do businesses wa mama na vijana watapata mkopo kutoka kwa serikali hazina ya serikali na hawalipi chochote mpaka baada ya miaka saba. <laughs> access to capital is important what you call uh, medium small micro uh, small and medium enterprises tunameka hao formal na tunawasaidia ili waweze kujiinua kiuchumi I love tunafanya value addition kwa bidhaa ambayo inatoka kwa mashamba yetu. Kwa tunawasaidia wakulima wetu kupanda ya kilimo. With input, farm inputs. Make it cheap, subsidize so that people can be able to produce food cheaply. Hapa Meru viazi iko mingi zaidi, mimi napenda sana viazi viazi ya Meru. mboga matunda hata miraa kile juu kwa nini ni tutakuona kama wakulima hao wote wanacheka wakati huu kuna huzuni mingi hata wa majani chai hata wa kahawa hali yale yote tunafanya kitu kinaitwa value addition kwa kujenga viwanda pale tunaweza kufanya value addition kwa yale bidhaa ambayo inatoka kwa mashamba yetu. Alafu tukijenga viwanda vijana wanapata ajira na wamama. Tumeleona vizuri? Hmm? Alafu tutafuta soko ngambo kwa bidhaa ambayo inatoka kwa mashamba yetu hapa. Ili wakulima wetu wapate faida. Haya yote mambo tunaweza kuyafanya hii sio tu maneno ya mdomo hii ni maneno ambayo tunasema ni ahadi kwa pande ya ujenzi ya hili miundo msingi mimi nilikuwa waziri wa barabara nimeanza hii mambo ya revolution ya infrastructure tukiwa na permanent secretary yangu alikuwa bwana Mongera eh tulikuwa pale vile vile na bwana Mudhaura kama head ya, ya civil service service atamwambia nyinyi yale mpango tumefanya na yeye kama angekuwa hapa kama barabara hapa meru hii yote zile ambazo mkiwa yetu nasema zile zimekwama kwetu hatukukuta kwama yale ambayo yamekwama yote tutamaliza mpango ya maji nasema maji ni uhai nataka maji ije karibu na watu hapa meru kuna maji mengi zaidi kuna nyingine zingine ambao wanaona huko chini kama dharaka huko lakini tu kuna mtu pale tunasema tutajenga ile poa kubwa the the the, the grand falls